we have our definition of habitat again. The place or type of place where a plant or animal naturally or normally lives or grows. Okay, Mrs. Borello has made a Venn diagram. In one side she's put animals in the wild. On the other side she has animals in zoos. And in the middle, what do we know about a Venn diagram? When it overlaps, mm -hmm. the middle it occurs for common. is common to both. So we're going to make some general observations. We're going to think about general observations that you can make about what it's like for animals to live in zoos. And what are some general observations you can make about animals that live in the wild? So what are some general observations? And when we're when you're giving them to me, Mrs. Borello is going to type them on our Venn diagram. Really? So in the zoo they give you food, and in the wild they have to get their food. Michael? So there's no predators in the zoo. Can you, can you give me more information about that? There's no predators in the zoo. Right. No predators, no animals would eat you because you're in a habitat or a cage. So then what should Mrs. Borello put for animals in the wild that kind of goes along with that? Yeah. Animals might eat you because you're not in a habitat. Say it again louder. Animals might eat you for breakfast or because? dinner because you're not in a habitat or cage. So animals might eat you because they're, they're running wild? general observations can we make about animals in the wild or animals in zoos? Or both? Um, uh, in the wild, like, they make them by themselves, but like in the zoo, they might be with like, other of their type. are sometimes tame. What does that mean, sometimes tame? What does that mean, Regan? <laughs> if you home, they're not wild, they don't do stuff. What, you want somebody to help you? What do you think, Brendan? Um, what does tame mean? Tamed animals mostly means like they're, like they're not like, they're not gonna like try to kill you. And they're not like all rambunctious and stuff, like they're normal. Okay. They're not like the animals in the wild, like your pets. Okay. Your pets are tame. That's what you were going to say. That's what you were thinking, you just can put it into words. In a 
So in a zoo, you're in a cage for people's amusement. general statements can we make? Either about animals in the wild, animals in the zoo, or both. Owen? Let's be good listeners. Uh, they still get what they need to survive when they're in the wild. So where would that go under both? They still get what they need to survive? Some have like the like, form the type of animal they are. Like they, some of them have like like they they're like 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 the same environment as they were in the wild. Like like they put like rocks and stuff like how their climate was. So what should Mrs. Borello put? You give her a long sentence. Is um, that something for both, or is that something for both? Like they both have like the same climate as they as the wild and wild climate. So. Like, give me an example. Like, let's say, oh, a rhino, like, a rhino, uh, I saw a rhino at the zoo at, uh, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It had, like, rocks and stuff, and, like, grass, Ooh. like, tall grass. And that's, like, that's, like, how their, like, climate is in the um, wild. So, are you saying that their habitat is the same? Technically, yeah. They should look the same? Mm -hmm. So think about a penguin, because that's, like, an extreme... Example. Mm -hmm. well, what, 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 what does penguins' habitat look like in the wild? In the wild. Think of, think of climate. Sure. Um, white mountains everywhere, snow. Snow. So it's probably pretty cold. cold. Yeah. So then in the zoo, what does their habitat need to look like? It has to be what? The same thing. What you put? Should I put the scroll? The habitat looks like the same thing. I'm wondering, you want to put it as a bowl? What are you thinking? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, when I think about habitats in the zoo and habitats in nature or in the wild, I wonder if they're, if they're the same or if they're different. That, I guess, is a decision that you'll have to make when you're, when you're thinking about this, whether it is the same habitat or whether it's very different. I think that's a judgment call. It is. We could put. It, have to be, it has to be similar. Yeah, we could put a similar. You guys know what similar means? Yes. Yeah. 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 what does similar mean? It means like they share some of the same qualities. Mm. So, like, we wouldn't put a penguin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? What do you think, Jacob? Oh, uh, they both use the same instincts as they were in the wild. Tell me more about that. So you, they both, he says they both use the same instincts that they would in the wild. Tell us more about that. So if you go to the zoo, sometimes you can see like at the meerkat thing, they have holes, and sometimes like there's like a video station where you can see them videotaping them digging the holes. So they do that both in the wild and in like captivity. So they would both have the same instincts. You're saying that some of the actions they do are the same as in the wild, is in the, the 
So it's living separated? And you said in the wild, it's in a, a herd or a flock. So tomorrow, you're going to do what's called a performance test. And you're going to do some more research about zoos. The discussion we had today should help you as you're doing that research. And you're going to be doing some writing in your performance test. 